Oh, hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Marco's Hiking. Today, we're going to do a quick review on um, an alcohol stove. A little teeny weeny little alcohol stove. And this is the little teeny weeny alcohol stove I'm talking about. It looks really big right now, but it's actually really small. This is from Dutchware Gear. Uh, it is the, um, I cannot remember the name of it. I'll put it on the screen. I don't remember the name of it. Anyway, Dutchware Gear uh, through their website. Uh, it's less than 15 bucks. I want to say it's $14. You can get it with this wrap on here, which is kind of nice to grab onto uh, if it's still hot. Um, it weighs less than an ounce. And we're going to try it out. I have not used this yet. I'm going to make a cup of coffee with this. My concern is that it's going to be really tippy. And so you might have to use a, a smaller um, water pot with this. But we're going to try it out. We're going to see how it works. I love how light it is. It, again, it's less than an ounce. So it actually takes weight out of your pack, right? Right? Is that how that works? Weighs virtually nothing. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's get right into it. Let's see how I like this thing, how it works. Um, stability is my biggest concern. I think it's going to work fine outside of that, but I'm worried about the stability. So let's, let's, um, stop talking, Mark. Let's get into the review. It's a good way to start a fire here with an alcohol stove. Don't like that. So I think the first thing, this has nothing to do with this stove, but Definitely the thing to consider when using something like an alcohol stove is the debris around whatever you're doing. One ounce. I don't know if I'm going to put an ounce in. I just don't think it's going to take. Ooh, look at that. Kind of sucked it up. That's kind of cool. All right, so it must go up. It's a double wall stove. And so when it went in, it kind of started soaking it up a bit. I'm going to use my Tokes pot, 750 milliliter. It's about what I'd like for coffee, about halfway. Now I'm going to check the stability factor. You know what? That's not bad. It's actually quite sturdy. The ground here is pretty soft. Oh shoot, and I just spilled alcohol. Good job, Mark. Good job. That was really stupid of me. So I'm using denatured alcohol. So the good thing is, the alcohol I just spilled on my hands is already dry. I think we're going. All right, now we're wait. It is right at 159. So my biggest concern just happened. As I looked at this design, I thought if I put the pot on here, it's gonna smother the flame. But I did see some photos online of people just setting their pot right on top of the stove and the stove flaming up. Um, it totally went out. So I'm gonna try it one more time. Maybe I'm gonna let it flame up a little bit first because I did put my pot on straight away. So maybe it needs to kind of prime and allow the flames to come through the, uh, the little holes. All right, well, I tried letting it just um, go for about a minute before I put the pot on and it just put the flame out again. So I think my, my brain is going, yeah, because it has no air, but yet I have seen pictures of the pot just sitting on top of this thing. So my initial review without doing a whole lot of research on this is uh, you need pot stands, which is totally fine. I'm gonna put these on, these are titanium pot stands. So um, super, super light. They also take weight off your pack. With the pot stands, it's a touch tippier, but um, overall no, no concerns on this flat ground about it tipping over. Um, Seems to be working just fine. Good boy, that's got some good flames going. That's awesome. Those handles are gonna be hot. So the way these flames are going now, I wonder if I take those pot stands off and um, then put it on. So we're gonna try that in a second.
Okay, it's working. So I think I just needed to let the uh, the stove prime up more and uh, let the flame start coming out of those holes. No pot stands needed. Yes, that's cool. More ultra light, takes more weight out of your pack yet. Isn't that cool? Okay, so since I've started, it has been exactly 10 minutes. And that was with restarting this thing twice. Um, and it's not, I've got some bubbles in there, but I stuck my finger in there just to kind of see, and it's perfect coffee drinking temperature for me. Um, so with all the shenanigans, starting it over twice, um, 10 minutes to bring this pot to a small boil. Um, definitely hotter than I need for coffee. So at the most, um, 10 minutes. I am impressed. This is a three ounce container. I definitely did not use one third of it. So it took less than an ounce to boil that, which is pretty cool. I really like this thing, like 10 out of 10. Cool little alcohol stove. I really like these little rope or the string that wraps around it. It's warm, but there's no way I could touch the metal on this thing right now. Now I'm not gonna pack this thing up when it's hot or whatever, but if I need to move it a little bit or something like that, you can grab onto this, this string that wraps around it and move it and not burn your hands. Th this is a cool little stove. So Dutchware gear, uh, definitely would recommend this if you're looking for any alcohol stove really, but definitely an ultralight uh, alcohol stove. It was really easy to use, especially once I figured out, um, I just need to let it prime a little bit longer. Good job, great stove, I highly recommend it. And I'm doing that typical backpacker hiker thing like, quick movement, slap in your backpack. I'm like, yeah, check it, check it. Yeah, this is cool. Do you ever notice that in backpacking videos? People always like slapping their pack or whatever they're looking at. They're like, and this, I do it too. Uh, I just noticed I was doing that. Pretty funny. Um, all right, get this alcohol stove. Well worth it. Thanks for watching another episode of Marco's Hiking. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for viewing. Take care. See ya.